and uh, recruit people as well so we go to human resources organization management plan staffing and let's go to the change mode so this is what my organization uh, screen looks like we'll be working with a company called training international which is the standard company used for IDIS training I enter training international or I could just uh, enter TR and a star so perhaps let's try that TR and star and find so I get a list of all the companies that start with TR we'll be working with training international so this is what training international looks like let me just reduce this a little bit and I've got a managing director and various departments now I can go to the column configuration and look at a few other important details like the code the ID the org unit ID and so on so what I want to do is under the financial accounting department I want to create a few new units before I do that however I need to make these changes effective the beginning of the year so I need to change this to 0101 01. and then execute so now my changes are going to be valid from the beginning of the year I'm user 16 so I'll go to the org unit 16 accounting and currently as you can see there is nothing under this org unit so I right click and create another org unit within this so I'm going to split accounting into accounts payable and accounts receivable so here's my new org unit let me just say 16 AP this is 16 accounts payable and I just save it I get the message data has been saved and I just reduce the screen at the bottom so that I can look at the screen at the top a little better so here is it uh, 16 accounting under that you have another org unit uh, 16 accounts payable and now I will create another one called 16 account receivable so the same as before 16 AR this time and then hit the save button so again data has been saved so if we go to the main screen we find that you have two additional units accounts payable and accounts receivable now within these units I'm going to create some positions let's see how we do that so now I go back and try to create some jobs I go to my org unit 16 and now you can see there's an icon here which indicates that uh, there is something underneath this uh, org unit and if I try to expand this I get my two uh, units that I've just created now under accounts payable I will create some positions so I'll create a director position first let's see how to do that I go to create and this time the icon here indicates uh, uh, position so we need to use this one we are cre not creating a department now we are creating a position 
so uh, just to show you if you are confused with the icons you can see the legend here this is the icon legend and kind of shows you what each of the symbols mean so currently we are dealing with a position and this is the symbol for a position so I want to create a director position so let me just say 16 accounts payable director 16 AP director uh, in terms of the job description I can give that here so we have some descriptions already defined starting with 50 and I'm looking at a director position there you go now I save it and when I go back I see that under my accounts payable I've got a director position I will now create uh, some additional positions or uh, that of a manager and a clerk and then assign some tasks to them so I right click create incorporate and this is going to be my manager and I will use the same job description as earlier in the, in the sense from the same category so this is my 50 manager save it I've got a manager here and now I create the clerk And I press save I've got these three positions so we now assign the task complaint processing to the clerk for that I right click go to task assignment and if I scroll right I've got the list of tasks and there is complaint processing uh, there uh, or already there I may want to assign the customer service task uh, to this clerk as well so in that case I simply say create use the relationship is described by and then I say customer service and hit save and that's my data saved now if I go back and financial accounting 16 AP clerk go to task assignment scroll right and look at the tasks I should get customer service there along with complaint processing so this is how you assign tasks to a position and um, this is how you assign org units to other org units and then positions to org units and tasks to the position so in a kind of a hierarchy and now we will assign a person to this position so the director for accounts payable is Catherine Camino let's right click here and assign 
So the last name is Camino and the first name is Catherine and I press enter and I see a big list now this is typical of an IDIS system I need to choose the one ending with 16 because that's my group assignment let me just make it more clear yep so 16 is here and I select this and I press enter and I'm presented with this action now this indicates that I am changing the HR assignment of Catherine so I will just select the action change of position and this starts on the first of the year I say yes and I have Catherine Camino occupying the position of AP director starting from the first of the year now if you remember a while back we had assigned some tasks to our AP clerk and we had chosen the relationship is described by uh, let us look in customizing and see how these relationships are defined for uh, tasks and for positions so we will now go to the IMG which is SPRO transaction type this is what the customizing IMG looks like and we now need to go to personnel management which is here under this we need to go to organizational management basic settings data model enhancement relationship maintenance and maintain relationships so this screen essentially helps you define a relationship and uh, which ones are allowed and which are not allowed so if we select a specific entry entry 007 is is described by which helped us describe a relationship between a task and a position and let us click allowed relationships for this and see so if I scroll down to the task here it is tasks describes and position is indicated by the object type s and if you see the drop down here and scroll down to s s is the position so this is where I define that I can create a relationship between a task and a position in customizing I also have the reverse relationship which is position is described by a task and this is the one we used a while back when we defined the task for the position of the clerk now I would like to ask you a quick question a typical interview uh, slash uh, uh, certification question can a person hold a job in organizational management the answer is no a person cannot hold a job a person can only be assigned to a position or a work center and if you look and in customizing we go to maintain relationships and the relationship 008 is the one that defines what a person can be assigned to or not if I look at the allowed relationships in this case I have a person P and a person can be a holder of a position which we saw earlier is denoted by S and A is the work center so person can be assigned to a work center A or a position S but not to a task T before we go any further let's do a quick recap on the different object types 
uh, SAP allows you to define a number of different object types but the key ones are these positions persons org units jobs and cost centers and we've covered all of these uh, in um, the discussion previously in addition to this there is another important object type which is the work center and that essentially describes the physical location where tasks are carried out some examples could be a plant a branch office or a specific room so now we'll have a look at how we can create work centers using the expert mode so we will now create a work center and assign a position to it using the expert mode so I go to human resources and then organization management expert mode work center I first need to create my work center object I had another work center which I have deleted so I'm doing this again and I see a blank which is as I expect to find it the period has to be from the beginning of the year till the end of time and the first thing I need to do is create my object which is going to be my work center so I will call it 16 work center and the object name is 16 office so I'm creating an office and I will assign a position to it subsequently just hit on save and my object is saved now I assign a relationship and my relationship is going to be of type position so the position will belong to the work center I select position and I need to find the ID for which I will seek some assistance and the ID is going to be let me just move the screen yeah so I'm going to search for a head position and head of department so I've assigned my position head of department to my work center 16 WC which is an office and all I need to do is save so now my position has been successfully assigned to the new work center that I've just created using the expert mode so I hope you enjoyed this session there's a lot more and hopefully I'll see you soon bye